Welcome to the Manor Born. Join us on our journey as we bring Martin New Manor back to life. Welcome to Martin New Manor. My name is Louis and together with my wife Jules, we brought the manor house that's behind me um, about 10 years ago. And we thought we'd like to bring you on our journey as we transform this wonderful old lady into something a bit more regal like she would have been. And when you first look at Martin New Manor, you would think that there wasn't a huge amount to do. It looks pretty okay from the outside. Um, but as we sort of spin around a little bit, you'll see that things like this long air, um, it's completely derelict inside, uh, washing on the line clearly, um, and the garden needs a lot of work done to it. And as you get closer to things like the shutters, you'll see they're slowly falling apart. And these beautiful old cremon bolts, they've been painted with layers of paint and, and no longer work. This house has a lot of work to be done on it. Let's take you inside. Like a lot of these old houses, uh, the layout is symmetrical either side, so the, the, this is the double back door. You can see there in the distance, the front door. We have rooms going off either side. Downstairs is pretty much complete. Now if we go into the grand salon, and through double doors into the dining room. And you'll see some of this work that we've been doing um, in these rooms in future videos. Okay, through these double doors here, you go back into the hallway. That's the kitchen in front of us, or the cuisine, and out to the garden. So join us on our journey as we bring the Martin New Manor back to life, as we develop and change all the rooms that we have yet to do. Plus, we're going to share with you some of our lifestyle that we're living here in France. And we're going to buck the trend against all those people that show you their chateaus. Because sadly, we don't have a chateau. We've just got a manor house. We bought the house in December 2011. And this was just going to be a holiday home for us to have great Christmases and fantastic summers with our family. But as of July 2022, we have turned this into our permanent residence. Our house is a uh, Maison de Metro or, or manor house and it was built around the end of the 1700s, the early 1800s and it's in the style of late uh, Louis Cannes or Louis XV. And if this house was in the UK we'd probably call it a Georgian style property um, with its panelled rooms, its oak floors and its high ceilings. The house itself was in the same family for most of its life uh, until the 1970s, we understand. The Martineau family owned this, which is why the house is known as Martineau Manor. And then in the 70s, uh, I believe two of the sisters that were here turned it into a uh, tobacco, and it's had various other people living here um, until we moved, brought it in December 11. To help you navigate your way around our house, we're going to include with each episode a floor plan so you know where we are. And as you can see, we're going to start this session opening the shutters in the family room. Laden with my shutter keys, it's time to open the shutters. Fresh air at last. So the age old problem of opening up the shutters every winter when we've been away, problem is lock has frozen. So good old Hacksaw does the job. The jobs we'll do eventually is sort these cremon bolts out. This beautiful piece of ironwork is meant to lock the shutter in place with the windowsill, but sadly, as you can see, it's completely painted shut um, and doesn't work. So that will be job for the future. So anyone's wondering, yep, we have them all labelled because we've got 24 sets of windows we have to open. We are used to opening up the house. What we're not used to is all of our shipping arriving from Asia. 43 cubic meters arrived on the same day. 
creating a 20 cubic meter mountain of cardboard. We wanted our channel to be slightly different. So instead of showing you lots of videos of us doing things, we're also going to include photographs like a family album. That includes showing you pictures of the cardboard mountain. We are also going to share with you some of the exciting things that we do to keep our life in France fun. And that includes enjoying some of the fantastic French cuisine. It's Sunday here in France and we're going to put together a lovely cheese board to end the weekend. Uh, we've been to the market today, we've got some nice uh, cheese and fromagerie and uh, here we go. I have here my fromager, my uh, uh, um, cheese safe, um, which is really good to come in the garden, keeps the, the, the flies away. Uh, one of the first things we bought is a Valence, which is one of my favourite cheeses. We also have a nice goat cheese with uh, rosemary or romaine. And uh, today we found um, really nice soft cheese from Japan. Um, and inside it, it has uh, cherry blossom flowers. It's a very, very soft cheese. And it actually, in the slight heat, it started to already melt. Uh, but that's really nice to have on a bit of crackers. One minute. And we'll add to that a piece of Comte. And some filet mignon, which we got from the supermarket. So it's nice little slices. Filet mignon, which we can stick just on the board here. They're really stuck together quite nicely. I'm going to add a few cherry tomatoes. I've just halved these on the side there. Some uh, basic ham, or jamon. There we go. And some Japanese soy beans or internami beans. Put those there. That's cool. Picky bits. And we're going to add a few grapes. And just halve those there in the middle. And a couple of baby gherkins. And some cocktail olives. And place this inside my Flamange carve, my, that is good to go. What a fab way to end a lovely Sunday. A bottle of Breton cider and cheese sitting in the garden. We look forward to seeing you in future episodes. Thanks for being with us on our journey as we bring Martin New Manor back to life.